بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد gentleness as we mentioned on many occasions is a beautiful attribute of the Prophet وسلم, a characteristic of the believer and at time of course we should be stern when commanding the good and forbidding the evil there are times when it's necessary to rebuke someone with sternness it's not always being gentle but as we'll see from this hadith of the Prophet وسلم, that mostly gentleness is better Mostly people are more receptive when you're gentle with them. They're less combative if you're going to give them advice. Maybe they're doing a munkar, they're doing something wrong. But they'll be less likely to accept your advice if you do it with harshness. And you react to them with sternness. They'll be less likely to accept it. Think about yourself, how you like to hear advice. Not negating that there's a time and place for it, for sternness. But letting us know that the general principle, the Sharia, encourages us to be gentle and kind and advising with righteous preaching. The Prophet والسلام, said in the hadith of Aisha and Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha and the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal أن الله رفيق يحب رفق ويعطى على رفق ما لا يعطى على الأنف على العنف وما لا يعطى على ما سوى رواه مسلم. الله سبحانه وتعالى, as the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, verily Allah is رفيق and he loves رفق, he loves gentleness. Or a compassion. And the law and he gives with gentleness, or he gives meaning he gives like reward or gives you know there's a a, a, a righteous ending more with from gentleness, meaning the slave being gentle, than with being stern or violent. And he doesn't give in the same that which comes with sternness the result is not the same as it is with gentleness. And this is collected in Muslim. In this hadith we see the importance of being gentle. And that that is in fact the asl. The asl is that we were gentle with one another. Respectful. And that when admonishing one another we use wisdom and gentleness that we don't start off always being stern and harsh if we really want a righteous or positive result so when advising one another start off with gentleness as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam let us know that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is our rafiq
So follow the example of the Messenger of Allah alayhi salatu wasalam, and strive to be kind and gentle with all those around you during this Ramadan especially but in general. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.